I'm going to solve a couple of Kepler's third law problems here, and I'm going to write out the solutions to them as if I was working on a homework assignment and I was trying to make sure that I got full credit for the problem. So let's read this thing. An astronomer discovers a new comet, and after studying the orbit of the comet, she discovers that the semi major axis of its orbit is 72.2 AU, which stands for astronomical units. How long will this comet take to complete an orbit? All right, here's what I would write for a solution. Okay, just reading that off quickly. This is a situation where we can use Kepler's third law, which is stated p squared equals ca cubed. If I was continuing to write the solution, I would go Then I would write down the equation p squared equals c a cubed, which equals, I happen to know that the value of c is 1 year squared per a u cubed. And the value of a that I'm given here is 72.2. astronomical units and that's the a that gets cubed here All right. now I'd go ahead and do a little bit of math on my calculator here p squared equals I'm gonna well first I'll rewrite that c one year squared per a u cubed that's the value of c and I'm gonna go ahead and cube the 72.2 Okay, when I do that calculation, I get 376,000. And the units, the AU gets cubed along with the number. So I now have AU cubed in there. And I don't have the parentheses cubed anymore because I actually did that. Now, look at this equation. I've got AU cubed on the bottom of a fraction here. I've got AU cubed multiplying the top of the fraction these au cubes will divide with those and what i end up with is nothing but years squared so 376000 years squared well that's the square of the period if i just take the square root of both sides p equals i would get 613 years. So that comet will take 613 years to complete an orbit if we've got its semi major axis measured that precisely. Let's do another one. Here we have if an asteroid takes 4.95 years to orbit the Sun. What is the size of its semi-major axis? Well, if I was writing this out like a homework solution, I would say... This situation involves Kepler's third law, p squared equals c a cubed.
Okay, in this case we know the period P and we are solving for the semi-major axis A. So I would just go ahead and do the algebra for that. I've got that. I'd have that A cubed is going to equal P squared over C. And here I would put in the value of C. P squared divided by 1 year squared per AU cubed. And when you divide by a fraction, you invert it and multiply. So this becomes P squared times 1 AU cubed per year squared. That got a little messy there, but I'm working in ink. So be it. Now I just plug in the numbers. P is 4.95 years. So A cubed is going to equal P squared. Whoops, I know that value, so I'm going to stick it in here. 4.95 years squared times 1 AU cubed per year squared will equal, I squared 4.95 on my calculator and got 24.5 years squared. I multiply that by that 1 AU cubed per year squared these years squared, divide with those years squareds, and I get a cubed equals 24.5 au cubed. Okay, to figure out a, I need to take the cube root of both sides, or with a little bit of algebraic cleverness, a is going to equal 24.5 AU cubed to the one-third. If I take both sides to the one-third, I'll get an A here. A cubed to the one-third is just A. Here, I take the 24.5 to the one-third, which on my calculator I can do pretty easily. When I take AU cubed to the one-third, I just get AU, and I get 2.5 nine zero AU for the semi-major axis of that thing. That would put it somewhere between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter, which is where most of the asteroids happen to be. Chances are there's an asteroid out there that has an orbital semi-major axis of this and that orbits the Sun in 4.95 years with all the thousands of asteroids that are out there. We should be able to find one pretty close to this one.